Hello, we're going to be working on using SketchUp as a reference for environment design today. On the concept art site, under 3D reference for environment, uh, I have three or four different examples of working with SketchUp as really an image reference for creating concept art. And I'm gonna walk you through the process of where I'm headed. I'm gonna take us through the process of one of my pieces. Um, so I'm going to show you the cuckoo clock uh, concept that I'm working on. Basically, these are my references of cuckoo clocks that I'm looking to um, kind of bring into my imaging. I want the look of a cuckoo clock for the housing uh, in my environment. Here are other um, references of land and worlds where there's very high mountains and mistiness and high mountains that I can place my cuckoo clock on the top of it. Um, other influences of actual housing for cuckoo clocks and dense cities. So those are my visual references. Sketching, I'm gonna go quickly through the process here. Um, as I went through this, I'm looking for light to medium to darker uh, to create illusion of space. I've got overlapping shape here. I'm giving that a try. Um, getting a little bit more detail with the squirrels and the cuckoo clock there. Um, what would happen if I have a floating balloon world? Um, the cuckoo clock time elements. Um, here I am doing some photo bashing, uh, bringing uh, images in from textures.com and putting them at different opacities um, and uh, getting those edges to be blurred so it starts to connect together. I wanted a real starry feel with uh, the land and the housing and uh, the different kinds of stone and mountains. Here I'm adjusting curves so that I can get um, the kind of values I need to fit it into the spaces. Um, trying to get some stairs coming into here and also then more mountains running curves on almost everything that I bring in from the textures.com. Um, really wanted a step through mountain phase. So we have an overlook through these darker mountains as I'm coming in and deeper and deeper to the lighter area. Um, just getting closer so I can draw and kind of paint um, what would be the cuckoo clock um, spaces um, and kind of lining them up with photos. The next step is to take this into SketchUp and to get some references for the cuckoo clock houses that I've done drawings on. Um, I do have here the, the look of the bird coming out uh, and what that concept is. And there's my initial sketch. So that's the initial idea. Now I'm going to take you into uh, SketchUp. SketchUp is uh, free and it's an online tool. We're gonna start at, at sketchup.com and it's important to um, use the free uh, version of SketchUp. So if you click on products, there's SketchUp Pro and SketchUp Free. We're going to be clicking um, the SketchUp Free uh, for our uses for right now. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials that they have right here on the site, uh, which are very helpful. I'm going to recommend for us today that we start modeling. And you'll just sign in with Google. And I will just start modeling mine. All right, let's call this guy Sam. Sam is something that you can delete if you wanted to. I can hit delete or command Z to bring him back. Everything that I'm working on is going to be online. Um, I do have other um, uh, files that I've saved within my collection here. Um, and they're going to be within SketchUp. So this is where I've done other um, projects. 
for today's purposes, I want to go into the 3D warehouse, which is going to be a really important tool for us. Um, and that is... underneath this component section, uh, which are the three blocks. So search 3D warehouse. Um, so I'm going to search cuckoo clock. I might be spelling it wrong. Clock. Cuckoo. Wow, they really have no cuckoo clock, so I'm going to have to build one myself. So, house. I'm looking for just a simple house. There's 13,000 houses, so let's try house clock. You can really kind of find uh, what you need from a lot of different various things. There's 18 pages here, so I'm going to kind of go through this set until I find something that fits the look that I'm going for. This is pretty close to what I might need. If I click on it, um, it's actually just dropping it into there. Sometimes you have a little bit more options, but uh, I'll show you what I can do at this point. I can, uh, using my toolbar here, this is the move tool, the orbit tool, and the scale tool. Um, I'm going to, that's actually the, the rotate tool. I want to hit Z for zoom. That's going to bring up the zoom tool. This is the orbit tool and this is the the pan tool and the zoom tool. I'm going to zoom out by dragging down and the next thing I want to do is to select it and then um, O is a shortcut for orbit. I'm going to orbit around it. I'm going to just check and see if this actually could be a three-dimensional cuckoo clock, which it, it can. Um, the next thing that I want to do with this today is to get rid of a lot of the, the other information. So there's a big blue box on it. I can see that because I've selected it with the selecting tool. Um, I'm going to double click into this. Double click. And now I'm going to click on this baseline, which I do not need for my piece, and then hit delete. Mm -hmm. um, it's not actually deleting, so I'm going to check out um, what's going on with the layers and note that there is a location terrain which I can turn off with the eyeball and layer zero is where everything is. So uh, for my purposes today, um, really all I want is a clock um, and it's got some of the assets that I need. So the next step is to look for uh, a good orbit for the perspective that I'm looking for. In order to do that, I'm going to bring my Photoshop file back up and I'm looking for the perspective that my Photoshop file has. So I'm going to hit F for full screen on this and then scoots this over a sec. Command or F again. Let's see. It's a bit hard to do this where everything's showing on one screen. Here we go. Command zero to be able to see the scale. Okay, so I've got two cuckoo houses that I want to have on here and definitely want it from the left view, but it's a little bit more distorted than that. So one thing that I can do is hit the Z tool for the zoom. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is that the field of view is um, visible to me right now. When I go down or up, up to zoom in, um, and I change my field of view by clicking here, set to 35, shift to change the field of view, drag cursor to zoom in, up is in, down is out, shift to change the field of view. There we go, you can see that I'm holding shift and the field of view is changing. So with a combination of that, I'm gonna hold H to get the hand tool to zoom down. Um, and then also um, hold down shift. I have to hold, 
hit Z for the zoom tool and then hold down shift, I can play with the field of view this way. Um, H. And I really want to be able to see what would be the, the lip of that a little bit more. Um, but that does seem to be matching this part. Um, so for my purposes, I could really just screenshot this and bring it in. Um, but I want to show you guys a few other things in SketchUp. So first I'm going to hit save. Um, we're going to call it Cuckoo Clock landscape and um, save it into a folder cuckoo save here and saved as completed you can see that it's named um, so the next step that I want to do is to export it out. Apparently I needed to open it. Okay, um, so exporting. So you're going to click on the folder tool and click export and there's a lot of different options here. Uh, the STL will be able to bring it into Photoshop as a 3D doc. Uh, for what I want to do, I can bring it in as a PNG. You can see that there's other 3D tools that are available to you. So export as a PNG. We're going to do that right now. You can see that there's some options here for resolution. The scale on this is fine. Um, I am going to do a transparent background, which will get me nothing there. And export as a PNG. Great. So it's being exported. I'm going to bring it into um, my Photoshop doc. And you can see that it is coming in there. Um, and I may have to adjust the, the spacing, but you can see the, the general gist of this, that this idea is going to work. Um, F for full screen, Command-0. Uh, go into my layers, check out uh, where this ended up dropping, and um, I can see that I, I want it to be a little bit more in that line. Uh, so I'll mess with that uh, another time because this is just PNG. I can get Sam who's floating right now and just hit delete return because it's a smart object you have to rasterize the smart object so layer rasterize smart object now it is a full image now i can delete sam command d as well as the sketchup information uh, so that's just a general information about how to get an image into your photoshop file i'm going to go over in the next tutorial how to um, do more than that uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk more